Good evening. There's been a break in the case of the massive fire that ripped through the former Wicks bumper plant on Windsor's east side. Tonight, two people are under arrest in connection with the ongoing investigation. CTV's Gina Chung joins us now with details. Gina. Well, that's right, Jim. The fire tore through the abandoned building late last month, causing extensive damage. Windsor police say detectives acted quickly. And just over two weeks after the blaze, two arrests have been made. The smell from last month's fire still permeates the air. We heard the sirens actually were sitting in the garage and we looked out the door and I said, oh my God, that empty building is on fire. Fire crews were called to the Wicks plant in the 9100 block of Tecumseh Road East on June 25th. The plant burning to its core for more than six hours. Once it was turning yellow and it was kind of like a yellow fog, that that is a chemical burning. Now we didn't know if that was the roof and again, if it was barrels of chemicals going on. The fire marshal was called in leading investigators to determine the fire was intentionally set. I'm not too surprised that it, it, it might have been suspicious. We have to live here and there seems to be a lot of activity in this area, a lot. The last thing we need is, is fires. Arson investigators took over the case and determined the fire originated in the southwest corner of the building. On Thursday, police arrested two people. Sergeant Matthew Dasty says the suspects are acquaintances. We had a 16-year-old person from Windsor, a young offender, who's been arrested and charged with arson. And then also an 18-year-old Tecumseh man who's been arrested and charged with arson as well. News of the arrests quickly spread throughout the neighborhood, easing the minds of many. They were responsible for it. They should be held accountable, definitely. I mean, uh, you can't do something like that and just walk away from it. Arson happens all the time in Windsor, and it's been going on for about a year. That, that is a concern. Um, shame on them. Damage to the plant is estimated at $1 million. These things can take a lot of time, a lot of resources to investigate as well. So, you know, kudos to these officers who conducted the investigation. They did a lot of legwork in a short period of time. Now, Sergeant Matthew Dasty says although they believe those responsible for the fire have been arrested, the investigation continues. Police couldn't go into detail as to what more they are looking for, but they are still asking anyone with information to call police or Crime Stoppers. So pretty quick here, Jim. Gina, even though the plant was no longer in use, that million-dollar loss is a real drain on the taxpayer. Oh, absolutely. That's right. Gina Chung with our top story tonight. Thank you.